Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode we went further into Gerudo Valley and we infiltrated Gerudo's fortress and uh, we uh, freed some carpenters and uh, we became one of those uh, women even though we're, uh, you know, still supposedly male but you know, at, at least uh, we have free access anywhere. In this episode, uh, we are going to head over to the uh, Desert Colossus, which is where the Spirit Temple is. And in order to get over there, we have to go into uh, this uh, one uh, strange area called uh, Haunted Wasteland. So we have to talk, talk to this uh, chick here. Hey, Wookie, are you going into the desert? I'll open this gate for you, but you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. The first trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross it, you follow the flags we place there. The second trial is the Phantom Guide. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only find themselves returning here. You're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. And somehow, clapping her hands, uh, somehow just uh, causes a gate to open. I don't know how she ever does that. A lot of people try to just like turn the lights off just by clapping the hands, but uh, but no, just uh, just clap on open the gate. Because apparently anywhere in the fictions and um, climbing, uh, climbing hands always makes things happen. I try doing that in real life, but it never seems to work. Anyway, so now we have access to the uh, Haunted Wasteland. And so yeah, like she was saying, uh, it comes with those uh, trials there. So uh, yeah, we actually see the um, yeah, Haunted Wasteland Chase Mirage. The desert will swallow you. Only one path is true. Which I guess works for all other kind of deserts. See yeah, those uh, rock formations over the distance? Uh, I believe that's where the uh, Spirit Temple is uh, supposed to be, where the Desert Colossus is. So, I actually uh, like how they uh, added that to like to the very uh, background there. That uh, kind of like, you know, something I actually really do like seeing. Because, you know, you um you see some uh, background objects, like, you know, as part of the, as part of the whole background. And uh, you see this is actually this very same uh, location that you will uh, get to. I really like it when games do that, because that actually uh, breathes uh, life into uh, in those games. Oh, so yeah, so what you gotta do is that you just have to, um, just, um, use the, uh, long shot over to these, uh, crates over there. And then uh, you can get across just like that. Now, I would, I do want to show this over here. If you go over this way, there's a, a carpet, a flying carpet. There's a guy there. Wait a second. Is that, could it be the squad law guy? Ah, oh, yes, of course. That's, that's a squad law We're off kind of guy. Welcome. I am selling stuff, strange and rare, from all over the world to everybody. Today's special is... A dangerous running object. Terrifying. I won't tell you what it is until I see the money. How about 200 rupees? Eh, we're not gonna buy that because that's way too expensive. Oh, that's too bad. The mark that will lead you to the spirit temple is a flag on the left outside the shop. If you change your mind, please come back again. So basically what he's selling is that he's selling a, selling a bomb shoe for 200 rupees. That That is too much. That is overkill. That's 200 rupees for a bomb shoe? No thanks. That's... It's so overcharging you, much we say. All right, so let's uh, let's uh, let us a farewell to these squad law man. So, so it's like you know, yeah, these are the faces of evil. You must conquer each. It is written, only Link can defeat Ganon, which I mean, it's true in this game too, because only Link can defeat uh, can defeat Ganondorf, because I mean, he is a he is a hero of time. All right, so here we have the Haunted Wasteland. As you can see here, there is a bunch of uh, sandstorms that, you know, very much blurs your vision. And in order to, uh, if you actually uh, wander off, just like in the Lost Woods, you actually uh, have to start uh, from the very beginning if you uh, just uh, get lost there. So what you gotta do is uh, you have to uh, take a look at those flags and then um, and just follow the path. And then there's that um, there's that pedestal that's up there. But before we uh, do that though, um, we have to go down here though. There's a uh, there's Gold Satula, which of course, you know, it's a, uh, you know, it's a Gold Satula. So I mean, uh, you don't really have to go there if you're not really going after all those, but you know, I'm doing 100% completion, so of course I'm going to go after that uh, gold skatula that's right there. So that's, you know, that's where it is. So if you just uh, want to go around and just uh, find those uh, gold skatulas, so, well, you know it's right there. And while I was uh, recording this, I thought at first I was going to be using um, the uh, fire arrows, but I think I just decided to just uh, use uh, dense fire to slay those two at once. And, you know, just to not waste any arrows either, you know, just to, because, you know, using the fire, the, uh, fire arrows, you basically just use both the arrows and the magic at the same time. So I just uh, figure, you know, just, you know, just use a uh, dense fire to uh, make things uh, quicker. So yeah, that's uh, basically uh, what this uh, little uh, ditch uh, looks like there. This, uh, I'm sure that's supposed to be a bunker or something. But uh, you know, that's uh, where their goal, our goal to tool is. So, anyways, that's uh, one trial completed, and so uh, and there should be the next trial that we have to go, to, which is called the uh, the Phantom Guide. So I think we just uh, read that little uh, inscription that's uh, right there. One with the Eye of Truth shall be guided to the Spirit Temple by an inviting ghost. So the Eye of Truth, well, you know, obviously now that means that we have to wh wh whip out the Lens of Truth, and so we, uh, use that right there. I'll be your guide on your way, but coming back, I won't play. 
I'll show you the only way to go. So follow me, and don't be slow. Alright, so once you use the lens of truth, all you gotta do is that, uh, the, uh, this Poe right here will, uh, will, uh, will appear, and, you know, he's actually a friendly ghost, you know, you know, the Poe, the friendly ghost there. Um, so, what he, what he'll do is that he'll, uh, he'll lead you the way over to the, uh, over to the exit of, uh, the Haunted Wasteland, so all you gotta do is just follow him, and just, uh, make sure you have the, uh, just make sure you have the, the lens of truth on, and, uh, you also wanna make sure you have plenty of magic at your disposal, or your, uh, magic meter is, uh, you know, mostly, uh, filled up there. And of course, yeah, the extended uh, magic meter from the Ray Fairy and um, Death Mountain, like you know uh, where the uh, where the Fire Temple is. And so it's kind of a long way. Oh yeah, watch out for the watch out for these assholes here. These are the levers, and they will spawn endlessly, very much so, because they will go everywhere. They will uh, be persistent enough to uh, just uh, go after you, and uh, they can. I believe they can actually. Uh, well, I've already see here. Yeah, they only uh, take away uh, half of your um, half of your uh, your heart. Or for one of your hearts, so uh, you want to be careful of those. They they will endlessly chase you, and they are very annoying, just like that there. But anyways, uh, so now we are uh, we've exited out of the uh, haunted wasteland, and so here we are. This is the um, as soon as the uh, title comes up. This is the desert colossus, and that I believe would be uh, where the uh, spirit temple is. This uh, giant rock formation. So yeah, we made it there. And yeah, more of these uh, levers. You gotta watch out for those though. Anyway, lever, watch its movements closely and let it go by. So you can actually uh, kill them if you want to, but they are also very finicky. Yeah, one thing, they are very annoying. They will relent relentlessly chase after you, and then... And of course, uh, they will try to avoid your attacks, and they will just uh, burrow deep into the, uh, the sand there. Now, uh, one thing you can also do is that, uh, just like with the uh, Salt Children and the um, and these uh, Gways, uh, if you uh, kill to about uh, 10 of these uh, levers, a giant one is supposed to appear. And it's actually, a, it's actually kind of in like a, a different color that uh, they can do, but, it, but also like for uh, more uh, damage you have to do. Uh, I, I actually do want to show those off though, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, kill as many of those uh, levers as I uh, possibly could. Until the uh, until the bigger one shows up, you know, just, just for the sake of uh, showing it off. So I do believe, uh, yeah, I do believe it's just about uh, 10 of those you have to kill, so that way there that uh, the bigger one will appear. Pretty soon. Also, there, there, there's also the ways up here. So yeah, the, probably the most annoying enemies that will just appear over the uh, desert bosses. They'll just, uh, they'll just uh, keep coming out of there. And I do believe no, that's uh, not just yet though. We should be coming up anytime soon though. For some reason, just despite the fact that they're supposed to be enemies, uh, Navi's actually uh, turning green for this. All right, there we go. So there's there's a giant lever. So yeah, after killing all ten of those, then this um. Then this, uh, purple lever, well, well, it's supposed to be a green lever, but they actually, uh, just, uh, gave, a, gave it a shade of purple. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually bigger, and, uh, it'll actually take a few more hits for, uh, unlike the other normal levers. But after you kill those, and they'll reward you with, uh, blue rupees. And I think it gets bigger each time, but I'm not entirely sure, though. But it looks like none of these other levers are actually, uh, appearing out of there, so, um... So I think after you uh, kill the uh, the bigger lever, then um, then I think it I think that should be it for those uh, for those other levers. And so before we head into the spirit temple, uh, there's um, there's a gold skull supposed to be. Oh wait, never mind, I lied. Yeah, more of the uh, levers will come. Uh, yeah, th this is one of those asshole placements for the uh, gold skull because like you know you try to kill it, but then those but then these assholes will try to come after you, and then uh, they'll try to hit you, and then you want to get the uh, that gold skull token, but. Um, but it just, um, but those levers keep coming after you, so, um, so yeah, that's actually, uh, where you can just, uh, get those. I figured just, uh, wait till a nice time. Oh, yeah, you want to watch out for the, uh, sand as well, because if you stay on the sand too long, Link will, will gradually start to, um, start to, uh, sink down to the sand, and then, uh, he'll, um, and then he'll die just like that, so you want to keep on moving while you're on the sand, so. Anyway, so here we are in the Spirit Temple, and this is such a cool-looking temple. Let's uh, read these, uh, cover descriptions. If you want to proceed to the past, you should return here with the pure heart of a child. Alright, so what that's indicating is that this is basically a split kind of dungeon. There's one for the child section and one for the adult section in this here. If you want to travel to the future, you should return here with the power of silver from the past. So anyway, so yeah, the Spirit Temple. Um, I gotta say, though, this is without a doubt my, my absolute favorite dungeon in this game. Because for one thing, it's it, it's it's actually a pretty easy... Well, I wouldn't say, well, kind of a, not too much of a complex dungeon there, but also pretty straightforward. And um, it's also, you know, kind of a fun gimmick. And also the music. I love love this theme for the spirit temple it's so cool just like that it's very atmospheric I, I love it so it looks like there's nothing we can do here in the spirit temple because there's no way to proceed with link adult link can't crawl out of this small hole and we uh, don't have the uh silver things to push this block here because it's too heavy for us so let's exit and who's watching us right now what is going on here oh hi there sheik past present future the master sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream through time's river 
The port for that ship is in the Temple of Tide. To restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen to this Requiem of Spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. All right, and so we have one final warp song that uh, that we can play here. Yeah, the the, the last of those. So yeah, the Spirit Temple is basically you know uh, basically the uh, last uh, temple to go through, and so this should be the uh, final warp song for us. I do like this warp song though. It actually uh, actually sounds real nice though. So let's go and play this on our ocarina. And there we go. Why was that owl here? Get the fuck away from us! But nevertheless, we have learned the Requiem of Spirit. See, so watching this whole time. So, anything else you want to say? Or are you just going to do one of those fancy disappear? Let me guess. Is it a sandstorm? Ah, of course. I knew it. You always got to pull some tricks, so. Anyway, so uh, so, with this, so now we have the Requiem of Spirit. Uh, that means we can actually teleport over to the Desert Colossus. So, since we can't really do anything at all at the moment in the Spirit Temple, because, uh, you know, we can't call, crawl through there as an old link, and uh, this block is too heavy to push, there's nothing we can do. So, what do we do? Well, quite simple. We go back to the Temple of Time, because one of the Cobra inscriptions was, that was uh, saying that um, that we can actually return to the past and uh, go over to uh, to the section of, ti of a child. So, that means, yes, that's right, folks. This is another one of those dungeons where we actually are required to go back to being young Link, and... Um, and to actually go into, into Spirit Temple. So unlike with all the other temples in, um, in this game for those adult dungeons, uh, the Spirit Temple is actually a dungeon for both for, for both child and adult Link. So in other words, uh, yes, we're going to be going back to the past as Young Link once more as uh, for what's required. And so uh, for this, uh, we can actually go to the Spirit Temple as Young Link. And so there we have it. So, uh, so yeah, once again, we're back to our little uh, innocent childish self. And so the Requiem of Spirit that we just learned, uh, we can actually uh, go ahead and um, and uh, play the and play that and just uh, go over to the Desert Colossus. Uh, before we do that, though, um, I actually uh, went ahead and uh, I want to go back over to the uh, Castle Town Market because I want to go ahead and get the uh, green potion from the uh, potion shop because you know the, the potion shop is right there in the uh, in the market because you know that's uh, since you know since you know the market is actually absolutely fine right now, then we can be able to um, just uh, go over there and uh, get to the mar or get to the market and the um, and get the uh, green potion. Otherwise, normally as Dolan, we would have gone over to Kakariko Village because of the, um, because of how decimated the town would eventually be in seven years. So let's go and get that right there. So yeah, one thing I, that's really cool about the Spirit Temple is that, you know, just, uh, you know, considering it's basically the uh, penultimate temple, then it's, you know, for how far we come, then they decided just to, you know, uh, just to give it just a, a temple for both a child and adult Link. So it's basically just a split into those two sections, so, um... So that way there we can actually just, you know, start the whole temple off as a child link, and then after after that section, we uh, come back as adult link. So it's actually real cool like that. Very well, very, very much of a, a great idea, a very neat idea for for that kind of dungeon as well. That's why, one, one, of, one of those things, one of the reasons why the Spirit Temple is that my absolute favorite dungeon, you know, with, um, you know, how fun it is. It's a kind of an idea, or great or neat idea that um, they can do, just uh, going there as both a child and adult link. So that's, you know, just uh, putting the ultimate thing to, to the test here. <laughs> Because, you know, considering that uh, we'll probably be uh, spending the rest of the game as, uh, as a Dolan Link and being in the game as a Dolan Link, then, you know, it's best to just, uh, you know, just um, go back to being a child just uh, one more time and just explore a uh, dungeon kind of there, so, uh, or kind of, kind of dungeon there. Now, a couple things that we're going to want to do before we uh, go back to the, go into the Spirit Temple. Uh, first thing, if you go over this way, there is a, uh, there's a little cracked wall they can, uh, they can bomb. Because there is one certain spell that we need from the Great Fairy. In order to, uh, in order to proceed onwards. And one thing I would absolutely recommend that you do. So let's go in and head inside there. And so this should be the, uh, third of those spells. Because, uh, we have Dense Fire. We have a Forest Wind. So there's just uh, one more spell to learn. So let's go ahead and, um, play a Zelda's Lullaby to, uh, summon the, uh, the Great Fairy. As soon as she, uh, comes up there. And so here she is. I never really brought this up, but do you guys think that the uh, that consider the hair she does a lot, a lot like Madonna? Yeah, I would say so very much. So anyway, welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. 
Alright, so or this will be our third and final magic spell that we'll be needing, and, you know, like I said, I would recommend this very much because there are some certain instances where, you know, a certain enemy that we have to face that really does hurt very much, so you're gonna want to use that for that reason. And so this new spell that we have right here, this is Nair's Love. Cast this to create a powerful protective barrier. It's defensive magic you can use with C. <laughs> Nehru's Love is in effect for only a limited time, so use it carefully. And yeah, just like with the other spells, uh, it does uh, cost some, um, it does cost magic as well, so, um, well, only we use it, though. It doesn't really, uh, drain down whenever you, you, um, while you're in use, so, um, but, but it does uh, take away some of your magic whenever you use it, so, um, so you want to keep that in mind as well, so. And then, uh, one last thing we're gonna want to do, uh, before heading into, uh, the Spirit Temple is that, uh, you know, there's there's actually a... So we so you probably realize that, you know, we have one last uh, magic bean that we haven't used just yet, though. And so that means there should be one last uh, soul patch that's supposed to be around here somewhere. And that, of course, is uh, going to be right over this way, right there. So this would be our final uh, soul patch away up here. So let's go and play this uh, magic bean because we're gonna definitely going to use that. And also to put some bugs in there because, uh, you know, because that's where we can get that uh, gold skull supposed to be there. So let's go ahead and do just that right there. And so, anytime soon, that uh, gold skatula should pop up just uh, just anytime. So we can just uh, go into get that uh, one gold skatula, and then there it is. There we go. Let's go and slash it, and well, just with uh, two slashes, and then there it is. There's that uh, gold skatula token. So now we got that right there. And so uh, let's go and plan this uh, magic beam because we're definitely going to be uh, needing that for um, for uh, certain areas to reach there as a, as adulting as later. And so, um, and so yeah, that should be it there, so I'll go ahead and, uh, just, uh, end this off here. Anyway, so, next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and start the, uh, final temple of the game, the Spirit Temple, and so we're going to go ahead and, uh, have some, uh, fun as a child Link, and then just, uh, one later as adult Link, so, so that's, uh, you know, all that stuff will do, and, uh, see what awaits us there. I will see you guys then.